Before we begin, I will present a definition or explanation of some of the Arabic terms that we will encounter. al kaaba the cube. This was shown in the introduction and it is the object of our discourse. Every Muslim is required to face towards the Kaaba when in prayer. Al is the definite article in Arabic for the. Hence, it appears quite often before many titles and names. Qibla. This word refers to the actual direction towards the Kaaba. Other terms will be translated when necessary. Our story begins thousands of years ago with a historic figure who is prominent in Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. This person is none other than Prophet Abraham, who in Islam is believed to be the forefather of Moses, Jesus, and Muhammad. May the peace and blessings of God be upon all of them. Abraham was married to Sarah, and they had a child named Isaac. From Isaac's lineage came Moses and Jesus. Abraham was also married to Hagar, and their child was named Ishmael, who was also considered a prophet in Islam. Sarah and Hagar could not get along, so Hagar and Ishmael had no choice but to leave. It is important to note that there is a slight discrepancy between the religions of Islam and Christianity between Ishmael and Isaac. In this presentation, we will present the Islamic understanding. When Hagar and Ishmael left, the famous story that follows was that Hagar and Ishmael were stuck in a desert without water. In distress, Hagar called upon her Lord, as explained in Genesis 21, verses 16 to 19. Her prayers were answered, and as mentioned in verse 19, And God opened her eyes, and she saw a well of water. And she went and filled the bottle with water, and gave the lad drink. In Islam, this well is known as Zamzam, and is still flowing until today. The location described in the Bible is Bekka, as mentioned in Psalms 84, verse 6 who passing through the valley of Bekka make it a well. The rain also filleth the pools. The city of Bekka is believed by Muslims to be modern day Mecca. In the Quran, God says the following in Surah or chapter Al-Imran verse 96. Verily the first house set up for mankind is indeed that at Mecca, full of blessing and guidance for all beings. The word in Arabic used for Mecca is actually Bekka in this verse. The first house referred to in this verse is the Kaaba. The Kaaba was built for the purpose to worship the one God. As mentioned in Surah Al-Hajj verses 26 to 27, Behold, we gave the sight to Abraham of the sacred house, saying, Associate not anything in worship with me, and sanctify my house for those who compass it round, or stand up, or bow, or prostrate themselves therein in prayer, and proclaim the pilgrimage among men, they will come to thee on foot and mounted on every kind of camel, lean on account of journeys through deep and distant mountain highways. It was from these beginnings of Abraham, Hagar, and Ishmael that the Kaaba was built. Furthermore, one of the pillars of Islam, the Hajj or pilgrimage, is also dated back to Abraham and is performed yearly by millions of Muslims. As previously mentioned in the verse of the Qur'an, God commanded that nothing should be associated in worship with Him. This command would be broken in some generations that followed. The pilgrimage made yearly to the Kaaba brought many people from neighboring tribes. Some tribes were pagan and they brought idols to Mecca which eventually were placed in and around the Kaaba itself. It is believed that this is the reason why Jews ceased to visit the Temple of Abraham as mentioned by Martin Lings in his autobiography of the Prophet Muhammad, may the peace and blessings of God be upon him. As worshipping idols were in exact contradiction with the beliefs of Abraham, the well of Zamzam became covered up. One of the tribes that came through the lineage of Abraham was called Quraysh. Many years after the well of Zamzam became covered up, one of Quraysh's members, Abd al-Mutalib, was guided by a voice to dig up and find the once precious well of Zamzam. This was considered as a significant moment as the people of Mecca were amazed at this occurrence and honored Abd al-Muttalib since he was chosen to uncover the well of Zamzam. Furthermore, another major event took place. Abd al-Muttalib was the person in control of the Kaaba during the year it was planned to be attacked by Abraha and his people from Yemen. Abd al-Muttalib 
had full faith in his Lord protecting the Kaaba from the people who were going to attack it. It is known as the year of the elephant, since Abraha's army came to attack the Kaaba with an elephant. However, the Kaaba was believed to be divinely protected by God, as mentioned in Surah Al-Fil verses 1 to 5. Seest thou not how thy Lord dealt with the companions of the elephant? Did he not make their treacherous plan go astray? And he sent against them flights of birds, striking them with stones of baked clay. Then did he make them like an empty field of stalks and straw, of which the corn has been eaten up. The fact that Abraha's army was turned away by birds elevated Abd al-Muttalib's position even more in Mecca. The Kaaba was believed to have been divinely protected. The year of the elephant and the elevated status of Abd al-Muttalib would be of extreme significance in Islam, for that was the year that Abd al-Muttalib's grandson would be born. The Prophet Muhammad, may the peace and blessings of God be upon him. Abd al-Muttalib would eventually take care of him for a part of his life since the Prophet would become an orphan. The Prophet would thus be protected by him and part of a noble family whose lineage goes back to Abraham. The Prophet Muhammad, may the peace and blessings of God be upon him, became a Prophet at the age of 40 when he first received revelation. The main point of Islam was to worship the one God, but with idols overtaking the Kaaba, this tradition had vanished. The Prophet would restore the worship of one God in Mecca by eventually ridding the Kaaba of its idols and returning it to the way his forefather Abraham intended. Although the Kaaba was established since the time of Abraham, it was not until the Prophet Muhammad, may the peace and blessings of God be upon him, received revelation from God to pray towards it that Muslims actually faced it in prayer. As mentioned in Surah Al-Baqarah, verse 144, We see the turning of thy face for guidance to the heavens. Now shall we turn thee to a qibla that shall please thee. Turn then thy face in the direction of the sacred mosque. Wherever ye are, turn your faces in that direction. The people of the book know well that that is the truth from their Lord, nor is God unmindful of what they do. When the Prophet came with this revelation, the companions of the Prophet changed their direction of prayer from Jerusalem to Mecca while in prayer. There is a hadith, which is a saying of the Prophet, mentioned by Ibn Umar. While people were praying the dawn prayer at Quba, near Medina, someone came and said, Last night a revelation came to the Messenger of God, may the peace and blessings of God be upon him, and he was commanded to face the Kaaba, so face it. Their faces were towards the north, Asham, so they turned around towards the Kaaba. From that day forward, every Muslim has been attempting to pray towards the Kaaba.